Hello students, welcome back. So in this module, we'll be discussing arithmetic geometric progression. Let us see what does arithmetic geometric progression means. In short, it is called as AGP. Now friends, let us say I'm given an AP and its terms are A1, A2, A3 till AN and a GP, its terms are B1, B2, B3 till BN. Then we can say the sequence which is obtained by multiplying the corresponding terms of an AP and a GP that is the first term of AP into the first term of GP that is A1, B1. Second term of AP and second term of GP are multiplied that is A to BT and then so on till A and BN would be called as arithmetic geometric progression. Let's say students AP is given as A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on. And a GP is given that is B, BR and BR square till BR to the power of N minus 1. Then multiplying the corresponding terms of these two sequence will give me a sequence which would look like this. And his friends, this will become an AGP. His friends, you can see over here, nth term of a AGP can be written as the multiplication of nth term of a AP and the nth term of a GP. This one is the most important concept over here is to find the sum of n terms in AGP. Let's say I denote sum of n terms in AGP by Sn, then Sn would be the sum of these terms over here. This one is very important step over here is I am going to multiply complete series by the common ratio of GP as we used to do it in terms of in uh, GP topic that is geometric progression. So this one is I am multiplying complete series by R that is the common ratio. So I have multiplied by R and shifted the terms like this friends. Note over here I have written it in this fashion. Now I am going to subtract these two series. So when I am going to subtract these two series students note over here the terms start cancelling out. A, B, R cancels from the second and in the first expression. Similarly the second term, third term and so on till nth term will observe like this. So when I am going to subtract these friends 1 minus R into Sn would be return like this. You can see over his friends, I have obtained this expression. And now I am taking db common from the second term and I obtain over here you can see db into r plus r square till r to the power of n minus 1. And you can see this is a gp with first term r and common ratio also r. So using the sum of n terms in gp that is a into r to the power of n minus 1 upon r minus 1, we obtain this result. And now, now I am dividing by 1 minus r. So sum of n terms is obtained like this. So students, we don't have to remember this formula. We have to remember this method. Let us move further and find sum of infinite terms in AGP. Now students, if common ratio is between minus 1 to 1, number of terms are infinite. We have already found the sum of n terms in AGP. And now it's already given that r is between minus 1 to 1. Number of terms n is infinity. Therefore, friends, r to the power of n minus 1, we have understood this concept previously also that r to the power of n minus 1 will tend towards 0, r to the power of n will also tend towards 0. Using these two results in the above expression, I will obtain r to the power of n minus 1 and r to the power of n from the last two terms cancels out, gives me 0 and hence sum of infinite terms you can see I have obtained as ab upon 1 minus r plus dbr upon 1 minus r square. Students, let us use these concepts in solving some question. Let's say friends, I have to find the sum of these terms. Let us check, is this an AGP? Look at the first term, it's 1 into 2, second 2 into 2 square, third 3 into 2 cube. Observe the first terms of each and every term. That is 1, 2, 3 and so on. That is a AP. And the second terms, that is 2, 2 square, 2 cube till 2 to the power of 100. That is a GP. Therefore, students, these terms are written in AGP. And to find some of these terms, students, we have already understood, we multiply complete series by the common ratio of GP. Over here, the common ratio of GP is, students, 2. So, I am going to multiply the complete sequence by 2. So, I have multiplied the complete sequence by 2, shifted the terms. I am going to subtract the two series, students. So, on subtracting, s minus 2s becomes minus s and now the rest of the terms would be 1 into the first term as it is. From second term onwards it's 1 into 2 square, 2 cube, 2 power of 4, 2 power of 100 minus the last term is written as it is. 
non students you can see from first term to the 100 term it's a gp hence applying the sum of 100 terms in gp that is a into r to the power of n minus 1 upon r minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 minus the last term as it is that is 100 into 2 to the power of 101 it's now simple calculation students doing the calculation i obtained this final result i hope students you understood this concept thank you